it continues, you know. Um, thanks, Zach, for that, man. Uh, I remember getting a chance to, to go to Zach's hometown our rookie year in Milford, Ohio. Got to meet his family. You know, they're like family to us and did a camp with him and where he's from and stuff like that. And, you know, what a great teammate, what a great friend, you know, a brother, truly. Um, thanks to the Benson's family, Mrs. Benson, Mr. Benson, rest in peace. Thanks for drafting me, Coach Payton, Mickey. Thanks for Ken, Hall of Fame committee. Uh, this is awesome, man. Um, <clears throat> my wife, thank you to my wife. You know, we actually met in New Orleans. She's from Philly as well. She's from West Philly. I'm from North Philly, nice town area. But we actually met in New Orleans, and we grew in New Orleans. And uh, thank you so much. <clears throat> my mom, my sisters are here, my friends and my family. Um, thank you all. Um, you know, uh, we don't get here on our own. You know, we have a lot of support whether it's coaches, whether it's family, whether it's friends. And um, that's one of the reasons why I'm standing here today. And uh, like Zach said, you know, I did play with a lot of confident, confidence. Uh, I was a small school guy coming to the league. You know, I remember being in the combine, like one of seven Division II guys, and I was doing everything. Everybody was like, oh, I'm going to wait till my pro day. I was like, well, there's no tomorrow for me. I don't have a pro day coming to Bloomsburg. There's nobody <laughs> coming to Bloomsburg to watch me. So I had to do everything. But, um, you know, like Zach said, that's just, that's just how I approached it, man. I had a great first coach in Coach Marone, who's now in Alabama, who coached, yeah, who coached, in, <laughs> who coached in the league as a head coach, and he always harped on technique. And, um, you know, that's why I played so long is because I always worked on technique. I always worked to get better. You know, our coaches always preach ongoing skill development. You know, keep working hard. Always be a better player. Like I tell players now, my high school guys, my college guys, and the guys in the pros is, if you're not getting better every day, the other person is getting better every day, you're not going to be able to keep up. So I always tell the guys, like, listen, I'm trying to be better next year than I was the year before. Guys will tell you, I'll be on the plane. I need that film right now. I need to know. <laughs> I need to watch this film instantly. I don't know. For some reason, just how I work. So, but, um, but, yeah, I have a few guys here with me. Also, like, my trainer right here, Julius, just, you know, don't mind him. He's not a Falcons fan. But he is a Bucks fan. He is a Bucks fan. So, so our trainer, boo. I know, boo him, please, please, boo him, boo, boo. But some of those great guys that play for the Bucks, I always hit them extra little hard just for him because he couldn't lose to those guys and go home and talk trash. But he's a he's a big reason why I'm here today. Um, we've trained together ever since I was in college, and you know he was getting his masters. We also have a business company together, a gym. And uh, we have some young guys and some Olympic guys that we train in our gym. But he's one of the main reasons why I was able to stay healthy. Just the way we train, how we work, where we work, it was awesome. So I thank you, brother, for that, for sure. Um, another guy, EJ, right here. EJ, we went to Bloom together also. He went to rival high schools in the city of Philadelphia. But um, he met me, a very young Jari Evans. I didn't play my senior year of high school because I broke my knee. So uh, I was able to get a... Division II scholarship, and uh, EJ, you know, I stayed at his house. He was, he was scouting me with the coaches. He was a running back, and I told him on the way over, I was like, when I was at the Sigma house, did you uh, think we'll be here at the Saints Hall of Fame? He was like, yeah, I do it. I was like, no, nah, you BS. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't know it, E. But, but, yeah, you know, I'm not surprised to be here. Um, <clears throat> when, I, when I got drafted by the Saints in 06, I wanted to be the best player I could be, and um, I did that. I worked very hard to be that. And uh, like Zach said, man, we did some great things. We had a great general behind us, and Drew Brees broke a lot of records. It made our job very easy up front. We just had to go out there and bang our heads against the wall a few times. But, but, um, but yeah, so I'm just thankful to be here. I'm glad to be back in New Orleans. New Orleans is my second home. Uh, we got businesses here. So, uh, yeah, who that nation? I'm just happy to be here, happy to go in with my, my brother, Roman Harper. You know, his family, haven't seen him in forever. The beautiful children. Beautiful wife, haven't seen him in forever. Mom, pops, miss y'all. Good to see y'all. But uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Who That Nation. You know, I tell you, man, the Saints fans is uh, one of the best in the NFL. I tell you that much. And it's, uh, it's a big community, and the fans stretch. I mean, there's Who That's in PA all the time. They come, and they, they love the Saints. So thanks again, Mrs. Benson, the Benson family, Jay, Ken. Thank you all. Congratulations to you as well. And uh, Who That, baby.